you talk about how every kid today wants to be a YouTuber, yeah. including your daughter. 100%. And I love, you talk about that now, I, I always talk about how when I was growing up I had three options, either to be a doctor, a lawyer or a failure. Like those were my three options because everyone in my community, society, that's what they looked mm -hmm. up to. So my big question here is, if there's a kid out there who's telling their parent, I want to be a YouTuber, that's like the new Hollywood. 100%. I want to be a new actor, I want 100%. to be a, the next actor. So how should they approach it? How should a parent approach it? Positively. But they won't. Yeah. <laughs> because they're playing history and yeah. defense. Yes. Like they don't think it's real. A lot of what I'm trying to accomplish with this book is remind parents how real this is. The world's changed so much. And I wish parents would support their kids. The problem is too many parents have their own self-esteem wrapped up in their kids' accomplishment. But the reality is, is like putting your kid in a position to succeed and being humble enough to put your kid in a position to succeed is everything. And most people are just not doing it. Like, like, if you're not doing, you're not in the game. You can't read about doing push-ups. <laughs> I like using that now. It makes it. sense, yeah, right? Absolutely. Like, that's the one that makes sense to people. You play basketball to get better at basketball. Entrepreneurship's the same. <laughs> it's great in theory. This book is amazing. Guys, this book is so right, you can't imagine. The amount of you that aren't gonna win because you don't have the stomach or the work ethic for it, yeah. you're not willing to work, but it's 946. I have two more meetings after this. I'm at the height of my game. I'm 42 years old. I've been going since 8 a.m. with you and I do it every day. Like you don't have the work ethic or you don't have the stomach. Let me explain the stomach. Yeah. For the person who tweeted today and said, Gary wrote another bullshit book. When is, when is the world gonna wake up? When you see that, even though you got 10,000 pieces of love, you get sad. You let somebody else's opinion, you let your mother's opinion about not being a doctor or lawyer, you let your older brother's opinion of like you're not doing it the right way, you're not making mom and dad proud. You let some guy's account whose name is Pants44 who leaves on your Instagram, you're ugly. You let that dictate your life so you don't have the stomach or the work ethic even though this is all right. That's what I think about everything. The doing. The doing, I agree, I couldn't agree more. You do reply to DMs, you do manage your own Twitter. How are you managing to do that? Um, effort. You know, effort. Like, I mean, I don't know. Okay. I'm just taking time out of something else and I'm replying. The fact that we have hundreds of people yeah. right now watching this is ludicrous. Absolutely. Like, what are we talking about here? Do you know how remarkable this is? Like, 10 years ago, this is insane. Yeah. And we take it for granted. You know, for 600 people in the, you know, this is now, what time are we? 9.30 at night. We're now in the evening time. This is when people allocate to the evening news, to ESPN, to their show, to Netflix. The fact that we're so lucky to have people give a crap enough to watch us, I can't take that for granted. And my world has come completely flipped upside down. I think there's a level of, do you forget where you come from? That some people do and some people don't. My parenting and my DNA and my upbringing and my circumstance doesn't allow me to think that's cool. That makes me think like I'm a loser and forgetting to thank somebody or liking a post or DMing somebody back or taking the moment to FaceTime somebody or sending back, I mean, sending back, I love this. I'm flying, I send back a snap. Somebody sends a snap, hey, they, they. Yeah, it makes, a, it makes a huge difference. What's different about genuine gratitude versus people doing it because it's a technique? I think the truth plays itself out. Right. And I think when it's a technique, you can get a spike. Your negativity and the wrong can win in the short term, but not in the long term. Service is leverage, like, like this stuff is basic, whether it's spiritual, or religious, or right, or karma. Like it's crazy to me that I genuinely, so for example, our relationship yeah. and our budding relationship, I think about it pretty basically. I want 49% of the energy. I want 49% of the results. If the Lord of relationships came down and had to give a judgment and they said, you're getting 51% of the value, you're getting 49. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Because to me, that's the perfect spot. I'm giving more than I take, which actually is the macro leverage, and I'm talented enough to get 49% and do something with it. I just think most people are rolling in trying to get 90% of the relationship <laughs> value at the end. So to me, that's the service. Again, and I need you to hear this, and I think this will make so much sense to you. I can't take for granted one person's attention. Yeah. I think attention is the asset now. And so when I look in here and I'm like, like Austin Linney saying starting a podcast tonight, yeah, yeah. that blows my face off. I step back and go, am I really living a life that I can motivate somebody to do something like that? And then God forbid, Austin in four years is making enough money to get a second vacation, to quit his job that he's in life, to pay off his student loan. Like this is leaving a legacy and I'm into it. I think it's a very special time. I love it, man. 
My goal is to have all of you who are watching right now show up to my funeral. But like my goal is legacy. Like at this point, I made enough money when I was making $100,000 a year to kind of scratch my financial itch. I've gotten very greedy about my legacy. I'm trying to figure out how big can I be mm -hmm. and out of how much joy and happiness and optimism and offense and self-awareness can I put into the system? I have so many 15 to 25 year olds watching me right now. How cool is it if I made the alpha male trait about self-awareness and empathy and gratitude? Like that's not sharp, that's not dude no, talk yeah, of the yeah. 80s and 90s, but it is the magic. It is the magic, 100%. By the way, Troy Hamilton, there are no <laughs> shortcuts in business. Definitely not in greatness. Yeah. Of course I agree, brother. Nobody you know has ever made it without putting in an obnoxious amount of work. Everybody sees the finished products. You guys weren't around. Now everyone's like, Gary Vee is hot. From 1998 to 2007, mm -hmm. I worked at a liquor store for 15 hours a day and had no social life. Mm -hmm. You didn't see that. Yeah. There was no documenting that.